Hello, good morning. I'm out here eating my breakfast. And I found these at Whole Foods and it's pretty much like a instant oatmeal and the ingredients are super clean. For all you paleo people, it has oats so it's not paleo. But I have been eating oats lately, which is different. Not a ton because they're not like super great for you um, to eat too often, but sometimes. I like it because it's not too sweet. But it's sweet enough. Okay, I'm gonna. I feel like I need to prop you up a little bit more. Does that help? <laughs> Probably not. So, yeah, I wanted to vlog today because one, I say this in every single vlog, I feel like. I love vlogging and I'm like not doing it as much as I want to, which bums me out. So, I really want to get back on it and try to be uploading once a week. But I wanted to vlog today because it's day one of my project comeback. If you watch Sarah's day, it's pretty much just uh, getting back on track. Like eating the way that I used to and the way that makes me feel good and getting back into fitness and stuff. So that's all it is. Um, I've pretty much just gone like, what's, it, what's the term? Like off the trail, off the bandwagon, off the wagon, whatever. I don't know. You know what phrase I'm talking about? Whatever. I've gone off of what I normally do a lot lately. Like, I've been eating so bad lately. Like, our church just had a conference and we had In-N-Out and Chick-fil-A and Lumpia's and uh, delicious food, but my goodness, not a good decision. So it hasn't been making me feel great. Um, and I can tell I've gained a few pounds because I've been kind of eating like that for a while now. Like I eat, I still eat really clean and I still eat like a paleo based diet, whatever. Like everything that I cook is that, like 95% of my diet is that, but then I've been like cheating or like eating poorly like often, like little things often. Oh my gosh, she's pooping again, hold on. Okay, anyways, I really do need to stop rambling because I need to go to the grocery store, but Julia Havens is a YouTuber that I really like to watch, and she does something that I really want to try. So for lunch, they pretty much just like, for her and her husband, they pretty much just make like a snack plate. So they'll do like a bunch of raw veggies, some sort of a dip like hummus guacamole or something, some sort of a protein, like they'll do like ripped up rotisserie chicken or like turkey slices or tuna or I don't know, something like that and then maybe like a few crackers or a few chips. So I really want to try that out because I just feel like that's such a convenient lunch because it's just so often like, it's the morning time and then kind of like, shoot, we didn't plan anything for lunch. And cause we're all, I'm used to making like meals for lunch, like cooking meals. Those usually take a long time. And then we're like, oh, forgot to defrost chicken or meat or whatever. I think this might work out really well cause I think it's gonna be really convenient. And then still cooking dinners every night because I love that. Um, but just trying to simplify it because pretty much all my recipes, I get it off of paleorunningmama.com. I love all of her recipes. Like seriously, I think almost, I think literally like every single thing I cook is from her blog. It's wonderful. But sometimes it's like just because it's paleo doesn't mean that it's healthy. I'll pick a lot of meals that are made with like almond flour, like almond flour coated things with ghee and like where it's like, yeah, it's okay like once in a while, but when I'm cooking that like every night and then I don't want the vegetables, <laughs> like I just want like the buffalo chicken, it's like, okay. She does have a lot of really good like clean recipes, so that'll probably still make. But I just wanna try to simplify it. Kyle and I were talking in the car the other day about how when we were engaged, when I was eating like my cleanest, literally I would just eat like salmon and asparagus for dinner. And I, and I like loved it, like I had no problem with it. And, my taste buds just adjusted to that and it wasn't bland to me and I was totally satisfied. I wasn't hungry and like I was my thinnest and I was 
like and it was, it was in a healthy way too i just had like a i think i just had a healthier view on food i even talked about it in my like why I paleo whole 30 kind of video thing is just looking at it as as looking at food as fuel not a hobby not a pleasure thing but just that's what food is for it's to fuel our bodies and to bring nutrients to our bodies so even I just want to do a better job at like balancing out my meals and making sure I have my healthy fats and my my carbs and my proteins and and all this stuff and just really focusing on the health factor of food and not just the pleasure of food that's kind of like my goal in the project comeback is to like go back to my old viewpoint of food and and pretty much cha like change up my taste buds again so anyways I just want to get back to that I'm gonna head inside um so yeah that's kind of what I'm gonna vlog today the start of all of it come on Lou okay I'm crunched on time so I have a nail appointment at 12 o'clock and it's exactly 11 o'clock so I gotta make a really quick trip to the grocery store and then I'm going to get my nails done. Ugh. It feels so rushed. Okay, change of plans. <laughs> so, I'm gonna wait to grocery shop after my nail appointment. Ah, Louie. Drop it. Good boy. Good boy. Get your boom. He grabs my like fuzzy slides thinks it's a toy, but it's not. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. Here's my finished nails. I love getting like really light pink or like almost white colors in the summer. Honestly, just anytime because I think it's really pretty. So I always go to the same place and the same person. So I always go to Elegant Nails in Danville and I go to Quinn. She's amazing every single time I go to her. Started driving thinking that my camera would stay and it didn't. So I'm gonna stop to chat really quick and then I'm gonna go. So anyways, um, I go to Quinn and I go to her every time and she does a really great job. So if you live in the Bay Area or you live in Danville, I highly suggest to go to Elegant Nails and see Quinn because she's wonderful. And this color is S and the SNS brand color 366. Um, and I always, um, I always write down the colors that I get uh, in case like I really like them and I wanna remember what I got. Um, so I have just a little note on my phone of all the colors I've gotten. So that's that. Now I'm gonna go to Sprouts and do some grocery shopping. I'm at Sprouts now and I wanna find some meat, like deli meat that doesn't have stuff added. Oh my gosh. <gasps> nope, that one does. Chicken breast. <gasps> dextrose. Yeah, it all has dextrose. Is there anything that doesn't? Hmm. I don't think I want roast beef. Ooh, sun-dried tomato, turkey breast. Mm, sugar. Sugar, sugar. Sugar's in everything. What the heck? I'm wondering if I should just still like get one. Maybe it won't be that bad. Okay, so this is sugar and not like dextrose. Okay, I'll try this. Peppered smoked turkey breast. Honestly, not ideal to have sugar in my stuff, but. Usually salami does too. Yeah, dextrose. Uh, oven roasted turkey breast. This looks funky. Brown sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Okay, so I wanted to get some sort of a dip to put like on the side. And. Ooh! French onion, cashew, and almond dip. I've had this brand before. <sighs> Cashews, almonds, and... Wow. That's pretty good, okay, I'll do that. 
some good ingredients. Ooh, wait, do I want, yeah, I'll do French onion and then there's roasted red pepper or roasted garlic. I think French onion will be good. Okay, so I'll do my little mini grocery haul for you. So I got two things of LaCroix. I got tangerine and passion fruit because um, sometimes it's hard for me to drink water. So drinking those helps. Um, like you saw earlier, I got some turkey and uh, turkey bacon. I got celery, cauliflower, broccoli, um, bell pepper, just some veggies. Um, I also got the celery and grapes for a tuna salad I'm gonna make. Um, and then apple. Ooh, I should have put this in the tuna salad too. No, that's too much. I got an apple for like apple and almond butter or something. I got chicken and tuna. And I also got jicama. Um, I love jicama. I think it's just a really good thing to snack on. Um, I got some avocado, some salad, some Brussels sprouts, um, zucchini. I got some Simple Mills crackers, and this is what I'm gonna add to my um, my lunch snack plates. I eat these like every week, all the time. Um, they have a bunch of different flavors, and they have cookies, and they have mixes like um, like muffin mix and cake mix and brownie mix and all that stuff. Um, but they're super um, clean ingredients. I feel like I've probably get out of the way. I feel like I've probably shared these in my um, videos before. But I got the sun-dried tomato ones. I got protein bars, paleo protein bars. Sleepy time, vanilla tea. And this is what I like to drink at nighttime because a lot of times I get like a sweet tooth or like a craving to eat or have something um, once it hits like nine o'clock-ish. And so um, instead of eating, I just drink tea and that totally suppresses like any hunger that I feel. Um, and I'm not like starving myself. I ate dinner and I don't need to eat anymore. It's just that like late night hunger. Tea really, really helps. So that's um, a big tip I like to give you. I also got some pickles to snack on or to put in a tuna salad. I have a lot of things to put in a tuna salad. Wow. I got coconut aminos and I put this on chicken. I got these two dips. I showed this one earlier, but it's French onion, cashew and almond dip. Really excited to try that one. And then this one is a buffalo style dip and this is all paleo ingredients. So really clean, nothing funky added. Um, just some dips to put on the snack plate if we want to dip crackers or dip the meat or veggies or something in that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I'm gonna make myself a little uh, lunch plate because it's two o'clock and all I've eaten today is that little oatmeal. Oh, Louis wants to come in. That little oatmeal and that protein bar. So I definitely need some food. I'm gonna go let Louie in. So here's my snack plate. I have the French onion dip, sun-dried tomato basil crackers, and then all these veggies, some pickles, and some turkey slices. And I gotta try to get him not to eat my lunch. Huh, because I know you're gonna wanna eat it. I feel like I need to just like take a chill pill <laughs> and relax. So um, I'm just gonna sit on the couch and watch um, some Zoella vlogs. She just uploaded a new one of some pumpkin thing. And anything she does that's like fall related or Christmas related or anything is just, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. It's so festive. So I'm gonna sit here and eat my lunch and hope that Louie doesn't try to eat it as well. Ah, ah, ah. So I thought that I would finish off the end of the vlog with uh, some dinner. I'm gonna cook my caprese chicken. I think there's actually like a proper term for this kind of chicken, but this is just what I call it. So pretty much what I have going on is my pan is heated um, a little bit um, between like medium, medium high. And then I just take some chicken breasts. I cut off the nasty little corners. Ew, why would anyone want that? And so then what I like to do is I like to um, cut the chicken in half because it cooks quicker and um, I don't know, I just like that a lot better than this like fat chicken breast. And then I feel like the thinner it is, the more it, it's able to absorb the flavor and everything. So I always just slice it, um, kind of butterflying it, but in half um, pretty much every single time I cook chicken. 
so I'm just gonna put some olive oil in my pan and I'm going to brown the chicken and try to get it pretty crispy. Right now I'm gonna cook it like almost all the way cooked, like pretty much all the way cooked. Um, but it's okay if I leave it like it slightly undercooked because I'm gonna be putting it back and then letting it simmer and stuff so then it'll cook a little bit more. But pretty much like almost all the way cooked. I just washed my cutting board in very hot soapy water so I'm not cooking on where raw meat was cut. Um, and I washed my knife. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut in half um, these little baby tomatoes. Oh yeah, the bad one. Throw away the bad ones. And I normally um, put fresh basil on it and I'll like roll it up and chop it. But they didn't have me at the store and I was way too lazy to go to another store. So I'm just gonna use dry basil and see how that goes. Oh, I forgot to season my chicken. So I use this mixed up salt seasoning and I put a lot, like a lot all over the chicken. A lot. So I'm gonna shove the tomatoes to the side and then I'm going to um, chop up some shallots. This is just to prep for after the chicken is all brown. So I pretty much just need to dice the onions or the shallot as uh, fine as possible. Chicken is a brown in. I'm gonna flip it. Oh yeah. And then I'm going to chop up some garlic, mince it. I need to get one of those little garlic mincers. I think it's pretty good. Okay, I'm just gonna transfer the chicken onto a plate. And then I turn down the heat like almost to low simmer. I'm gonna add some more olive oil. And then I'm gonna add the shallots and the garlic. Oh, tomato down. Just keep cooking this a little bit. And then I'm gonna add the tomatoes. Okay, I turned it back up to medium because I think turning it down was a little too much. So the tomatoes are cooked for a bit. And I'm going to put the chicken back on over the tomatoes. And then, like I said, I normally do like fresh basil, but I don't have it, so I'm just gonna do um, some dry basil. And then I'm going to take balsamic vinegar and pretty much like drench it. It's going to swim in this stuff. And I'm going to cover it and bring it down to like medium low. And that's pretty much just going to sit for a long time. I usually let it sit for like 15 minutes that's all and then I'm gonna make a salad with just like spring mix avocado um, oil and vinegar and a little bit of that mix of salt and that's all that's our dinner so I am going to end the vlog now and um, really hope that I can stick to weekly uploads I will see you all later Please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and um, comment below if you're gonna start Project Comeback too, and we can keep each other accountable <laughs> and do it together. See you all in my next video, bye.